How's it going out there, YouTube? My name is Jesse, and I am back for another Golden Age video. I stated in my last video at this time I was going to do Fawcett comics. I haven't done them in a while, so I figured while I'm doing Fawcett again, I would um, go ahead and do the second most popular character in Fawcett comics behind the Marvel family. The Marvel family was the most popular thing in the Fawcett comics being Captain Marvel, Marvel Jr., Mary Marvel. This would be the next popular characters, which it, it's, it's kind of interesting. As popular as they were, they did not finish the run in Fawcett comics. They stopped appearing before Fawcett stopped putting out comic books, which is counterintuitive to their popularity. Um, today I'm wearing the I Am Not Lazy, I Just Really Enjoy Doing Nothing shirt. Okay, I am talking, of course, about Bullet Man and Bullet Girl. So, there we go. Now that we've got the ambiance, let's go back to the 1940s where the age of superheroes were just starting to kick off while we do Bullet Man, Bullet Girl, and we'll briefly talk about the Bullet family. Now, Bullet Man would appear on the, in the comics of Nickel Comic number one. Now, as an interesting thing to how this uh, run got its name. When Fawcett Comics were coming out, they were at 10 cents a piece, and they thought that they would try a kind of gimmick. They would produce a comic book that was half the size and half the price, but would come out twice a month. Well, the gimmick didn't really bowl people over, and Nickel Comics would only last eight issues. But, this is not the last time that you would see Bullet Man. Bullet Man, James Barr, B-A-R-R, -R, was created by Bill Parker and John Small. Could be small, E, you don't have to, E is silent or not. And it was published by Fawcett Publications. First appeared in Nickel Comics number one in 1940. Now, as I said, Nickel Comics only went on for eight issues. After that, he would appear in Master's Comic. His first appearance was Master Comics number seven in 1941. He would replace Master Man as the featured cover, and he would be on the covers of Master Comics until Captain Marvel Jr. would replace him, and then Captain Marvel Jr. would re would be on the covers of Master's. Uh, subsequently since after that the last appearance of Bullet Man was Masters Comic 106 in 1949 Bullet Man also had a 16 run issue that started in 1941 along with his appearances in Masters Comic now James or Jim Barr was the son of a police officer who was murdered in the line of duty. Jim decided that he wanted to become a policeman after witnessing his father's death, but they told him that he wasn't fit enough to become a police officer, well, an on-duty police officer, and he got a job in ballistics. Um, he had some knowledge in chemistry and that was able to develop a drug that would increase not only his brain power but his muscle mass and he decided that he would do would um, use his newfound powers to fight crime and he also invented something called the gravity regulated helmet which was in the shape of a bullet after the acquisition of Fawcett comic books by DC Comics Bullet Man would appear as kind of a background character, first as part of the All-Star Squadron, 
and then reappearing every now and then in the comics. So I don't know how much of the powers of the gravity regulation helmet might have changed over time, but here's the powers listed from it. It allowed him, the gravity regulator helmet allowed Bullet Man to fly. It made him bulletproof. He had enhanced vision, which was uh, a form of telescopic vision, and he had super keen hearing. Um, gra a Bullet Girl possessing the same helmet and the same formula would also have the same abilities with her gra gravity regulating helmet. Now, Susan Kent Barr is Bullet Girl. She also appeared on in Nickel Comics number one in 1940, but she wouldn't become Bullet Girl until Masters Comics number 13 in 1941 when she discovered who Bullet Man's true identity was. Uh, Susan Kent was a daughter of a police sergeant and when she discovered who Bullet Man really was, he would create a second gravity regulating helmet and she would also take the formula and they would fight crime together as Bullet Man and Bullet Girl. Uh, for a while they did introduce new people to the Bullet family but they wouldn't stick around for very long. Uh, Bullet Boy First appeared in Masters Comics number 48 in 1944. His real name is Todd Drake. He only had two appearances. And there was a Bullet Dog who first appeared in Bullet Man number 10 in 1942. And he only had one appearance. Now James Barr is skilled in chemistry. Not only did he create the serum that made him Bullet Man, he was also able to create a tr new truth serum. He's skilled in forensic pathology and gadgetry as he did create the gravity regulator helmet. Now, Bullet Girl was married to Bullet Man. And as I said, Bullet Man's first last appearance was in Masters Comics 106. Bullet Girl's last appearance in the comics was Master Comics 102. Bullet Man was the second most popular character in the comics behind the Marvel family. The Marvel family was the most popular and Bullet Man was the second most popular which I find kind of interesting that his last appearance was in Masters Comics 106 because Masters Comics went all the way to issue 133 before Fawcett finally stopped making comics. Some of the enemies that the Bullet family would have to fight would be the Revenge Syndicate, The Bee, Dr. Riddle, the Hunchback, the Unholy Three, and the Weeper, to name just a few of the many that they have. And some of their villains have become regulars in DC Comics as well. Well, that did it for this video. Um, I like doing Fawcett. I think I'll do a couple more heroes in the next video. So until then, I'll be seeing you.